Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here, and we are taking a little break from our usual schedule. And we're di du <laughs> dumping, diving, dancing into the world of Rake. What is Rake? Check it out. This is a game I'm playing, and you know something? If you've heard about this game, you know, you'll know you know it's only Windows only. So yes, I managed to get a Windows partition on my Mac up and running, and we'll see how this uh, does. But as you can see here, I'm uh, a Bigfoot hunter and a spaceship person, aliens hunter. And I'm looking for this creature known as the rake or a rake or something like that. Well, the first thing we need to do to get this creature is to get our trusty gun. Because naturally, any creature we find, we must shoot. And to shoot an animal or a creature... No, 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 no. We're not going to skip. It, this is kind of one of the weird things about this game. If you walk into this wall here, it will prompt you to skip. Now we're going to get some bullets. We'll get all the bullets. And we'll pick up some cameras. This is kind of, you add cameras all around. We're going to leave this stash of bullets later. We'll pick up our tablet. You lead cameras all around the place. And then at night, you can then see, you can then look to see where any creatures are. So it's it's a game in two phases. Look at this. <laughs> Hey, buddy. This is not what usually happens, but for the sake of uh, giggles, we'll just add a camera to his head, if I can. Come on. Give me a camera. <laughs> Normally, you have to trap him in here somehow, which I still haven't figured that out. Can we do this? No. Oh, wait a minute. I have to hit inventory. So we're going to hit the I key, and you'll see this is our camera. So we're going to select the camera. Oh, and we got the gun. That was my fault. Come on, we can get... Oh, wait, am I grabbing the wrong thing? This is too dark. What is going on here? And I got my binoculars, so we can look through there, and we can see a really close-looking image. But what we really need is our <laughs> camera. And we got our tablet there. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's how you add cameras to things. Am I not doing this correctly? Do we have plenty of cameras? No, we don't want to skip. This is actually a full release, everyone. <laughs> this is a full release game that is being, that actually feels very much, what happened? Are you still in there? Yes, you still are in there. I want to grab my camera. Can I do this? Yes, there we go. Now what I can do is I can come up to him and I can press E. And now he has a camera on his head. <laughs> and let's see if we can open up this door. I tried opening it before and it didn't work. I'm going to try it again. Here we go. Open door. Come on, come on. There you go. He's gone. All right. Let's check out our inventory again. Here's the tablet again. You can see these are places where I can put a camera. Now that we have a roaming camera, we can only have five cameras at one time. So what I'm planning on doing is I wish I had a mouse pointer. Is I'm going to plan them out and stagger them out. So we'll just walk down this path here. I'm not going to have any cameras near the actual RV. That doesn't really help me much. But I'm going to try to put them at choke points around the area. And I'll probably be cutting and cutting a lot because this game is really just a lot of a lot of walking and a lot of waiting. And here we're, we're going to run too. <laughs> and it's got creepy music every once in a while that really. To see, and here's another thing. See to take camera. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. So here's the creepy music. I don't know what the creepy music signifies. And I already have the rifle, but thank you. <laughs> okay, I get it. It's creepy. It's creepy. All right, so we're going to add a camera here, and you can see the locations where we can put our cameras are designated by these lights. So we'll add one camera here. I have to select the camera. It's kind of weird that they prompt you to press E, and then in, if you, you have to select the camera to actually, yeah, I don't know. There we go. Camera. All right, let's look at our tablet again. Ugh, how do we, I do not have a trap. All right, open our tablet. So we got that green camera set up. Let's, uh, all right, so what I'm going to head down here, and we'll set a camera over here. So again, as I was saying, this is a two-phase two game. One, we, we put the cameras in, and then at night, we pretty much wait for the monster to come, and we have to catch the monster somehow. 
There's actually traps around here, like bear traps. I haven't found one yet. I've only been playing the game for an hour. Oh, those footsteps you're hearing are pigs. So that could be one of our pigs' footsteps. Now, the monster, I believe, eats pigs. So I wouldn't want to be the pig with the camera. But that might be a little creepy hor horror-esque scene. All right, let's see. Do we see the tree? Here we go. We're playing, we're playing find the tree right now. And... Uh, Okay, there it is. We'll get our camera ready. Now this game is is you. Hey, there's a pig. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, set it up. Come on. Ah. Uh, thank you. And let's open up our tablet. See where we got. So I wish I could have a pointer here so I can show you. The three in the lower left-hand corner, that's where we are. We don't need necessarily need those. So if he's walking through this area, we're pretty well covered. So we have three in play, two cameras mounted, and one, and one actually on a pig. You know, I think I'm going to set up way at the top there. But before I do that, let's go down here. Actually, let's keep this tablet open. We're going to move all the way down here. And I'm going to set it up like so. So here's kind of like a perimeter fence that if, you know, the big bad guy comes through, we're, we'll, be, uh, we'll be ready. I'm not even sure we'll be ready. He'll probably eat my face. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works. So this is a Unity game. And uh, this is actually built using the Unity assets. Unity, um, this all this area is built using the Unity terrain generation. So you can actually go and learn unity and literally sculpt the terrain um, and to add add you know places and whatever mountains and so forth it's really easy to do very in, very intuitive and the developers chosen to use the the ground foliage assets I forget what they're called terrain assets and uh, I, I recognize a lot of the stuff because I, I teach courses on unity there we go woohoo look at this all right, all right, let's look at the tablet one more time. Okay, so we're gonna head up this direction and we're gonna turn on the, the gas. <laughs> I've played this at night and I will say it's, I mean, it's it's got the creepy vibe, everything's dark out and stuff, you can't see anything and you know, you're hearing the pigs walk around and that's kind of where the creepiness lies into. I believe this goes on for several days. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to play this for several days. It, oh, we're going to move up here. Meaning, uh, it's a, it seems like a very short game. I mean, the gameplay is very, very, very s simple. It's, you know, set up some cameras, wait for the monster. If the monster will probably destroy cameras, then we, we pick them up again. And uh, we're supposed to trap it somehow or kill it. And, of course, the monster only comes out at night, so that's going to be a problem. Pigs and is that a pig? No, that's not a pig. I've actually shot the pigs before, and uh, hey, looks like you had a little problem there, buddy. Let's see, let's shoot the pig. Oh, come on, come on, buddy. All right, and you can see down the lower le lower corner we have a number counting down. I guess evidently that's when it automatically switches to night. I would assume so, and you can see there are like. Like little buildings around here that we can hide in at night. Ooh. And I don't think the monster can see us in here. At least I don't think so. I mean, it's not exactly a comfy place. But at the same time, oh, we got a trap. A tarp. Was that a trap or a tarp? T trap. <laughs> awesome. I haven't gotten a trap before. All right. Maybe what we can do is first we'll add a camera here. And I'm not too exactly sure how these traps are going to work. But maybe we can get them. Oh, let's shoot the pig. You, you can't really. Th it does nothing. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? Come back, piggy. <laughs> Here's that pig. There he goes. You know, it doesn't really do anything. And when I get close enough to a pig, I'll definitely show that to you. All right, we got our, you can see we got our, our, our line of cameras set up. And what I'm going to do is, why don't we set a trap outside 
the cabin. And that way, if the monster comes, you know, maybe we can put some food on it or something. <laughs> and here we are back. And we, we got another pig in here. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's do an experiment. You got any bacon on you? Well, what good are you? See, he just kind of shrugs it off. <laughs> is he at my? Is he the one with the camera on his head? Ah, oh, piggy, you gotta go. You gotta go. Go, beat it. I don't know why he's coming back. All right, we want to. Let me see. We got a trap here, so I think we just put it down like that. Awesome. And then what we can do over here is we can get some food. I do like the sound. I think they did a nice job with the sound. We're going to hold the food, and we'll just add it around the trap. Any more? <laughs> Pigs are very annoying in this game. Here we go. Ah! Ow! <laughs> wow. All right. Got hit by my own trap. At least the trap is still set. Come on, just drop the food. Drop the food. Okay, so I'm hoping this is a light right here. I'm hoping Mr. Monster comes by and sees the sees the trap, ignores the light, and uh, or it, you know sees the pig food. We'll see. Okay, let's just put this last one here, and let's hope the pigs don't eat the pig food. Oh my God, these pigs. All right, we'll leave that. All right, so that's it. That's the end of the first round. We'll close the door, and we'll go to sleep. Okay, here we are at night outside the trailer, and uh, I believe we can start watching the feeds. Mm, this is our pig cam. <laughs> and we can rotate the camera, too. I didn't know that we could do that. Look at that. All right, you guys see anything strange? God, I feel like I'm watching Paris Hilton's video or something. <laughs> All right, we'll go to cam one. Cam one. Can I exit that one? Do I have no cam one? I don't know where this guy got his cameras, but they're not very good. All right, anything interesting? Again, those are, I'm assuming those are pigs. Here's cam three. I wonder if I didn't put enough cameras out. Nothing. And of course, I have no idea where these locations are in relation to my tablet. Oh, we're, did we lose? We lost camera five. Lost camera five. Oh, camera one. See, does camera one... What if this is the rake who's wearing my camera? That would be pretty awesome. Don't eat my pig food. Ugh. Anything? Nothing? Why do you see in here? What are you doing in here, Mr. Piggy? All right, so he's right outside our door. Scram! Scram, Piggy! Okay, and that switched back. It looks like we lost another camera. So, obviously, Mr. Rake is raking my cameras. See anything else here? Should I go out and fix them? <laughs> I can't see anything. These aren't... these these. I'm going to enhance. If you're watching this at home, you're probably going to see a much better picture than I am just because I can't see anything. So I'm going to enhance this in post. Oh, we get something. Oh, it took out cam too. What? Why is this guy taking out my cameras? Okay. So the question is, do we get out there and put out more cameras? All our fixed cameras are gone. And we got this guy. 
So if this rake is moving like so, he's moving in a straight line. Oh, we got some activity. What I think I'm going to do is we're going to step outside and we're going to add a couple new cameras to the mix. Ooh, so creepy. Is that a camera here? Is there another location around here? What was that? Come on, place the camera. There we go. Let's get out the gun. And look at the pigs ate all the food. <laughs> all right, let's close the door. Rake, if you're coming in, make sure you knock. And I managed to get more cameras somehow. Ni awfully nice of the rake to return them. What are, what are you complaining about? Okay, we're going to go up top here. Do you see anything? It's awfully quiet. We're going to head back down. I'll stop you complaining. I wonder if he was just squealing at me. There he goes. <laughs> well, I caught one wild animal today. <laughs> well, we're not finding the rake, and I guess we can be here for a long time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this episode. And uh, this is, I, I may do one more of these, if not. Uh, but it looked like fun a fun episode to do and a fun game that just came out on Steam. It's five bucks if you're interested in uh, hunting supernatural creatures. This may be right up your alley. But the thing to keep in mind is that this is a release game, but this feels very much like early access. I'm just telling you that. I've been noticing small little bugs here and there. Nothing game-breaking, but... Like, for instance, I, I was walking through the fields, and I decided, and I, you could hear the leaves walking underfoot, and then I walked on some, walked on some, uh, on some uh, dirt, and then it was just me walking on leaves, then I was walking on solid rock, and I could just hear me walking on leaves. Again, that, those kind of polish issues that normally you wouldn't find in a completed game, again, it's small and stuff but it definitely does feel like an alpha or an early access game so your mileage may vary that said i hope you enjoyed this video and um, i may possibly see you in the next episode so see you then possibly take care